Question 4. A. Bromine reacts with the butane in the presence of UV light to form bromobutane. Okay, two structural isomers with this molecular formula C4H9Br produce. Okay, so butane um, skeleton is this. 1, 2, 3, 4, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Okay, because it's given butane, so uh, better you don't uh, put the branch molecule, just a straight chain. Okay, so uh, the position that it could be uh, is just the first carbon and the second carbon. Right? So means if you has one substitution, okay, it will form one bromo butane. Okay, if let's say the substitution on let's say the first carbon, so it will form one bromo butane. This one CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2Br. Or you can just draw the skeleton. Okay, means here you just put another Br. So it's done. Okay, and it can be two bromo butane as well. So means the substitutions on second carbon. So you just uh, initially you just draw the structure for carbon and you put the Br here. Skeleton this one, or you can put this one. Identify part two. Identify the type of structural isomerism. Uh, structural isomerism again. Uh, we have three types: positional, chain, and functional group. So this one obviously uh, is the position of the bromine where it's located. So that's why it's positional. Okay, part B. Halothane is an aesthetic. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, identify the chiral center in this halothane, mark asterisk. So, uh, of course, it is carbon, right? This carbon cannot because it has four, four. Uh, sorry, uh, three fluorine, uh, three fluorine same group. Okay, this carbon is has one, two, three, four different groups. That's why it's a chiral carbon. Okay, part two. When halothane reacts with uh, UV. Homolytic fissions occurs. CBr bonds broken. So this one, uh, we know that CBr, the weaker one will break. Eh? The weakest uh, bond is the CBr bond. So this bond will break homolytically. Means one electron will move to the carbon, another electron move to the bromine. So it will form two radicals. Okay, actually the the radicals means the dot is the on this carbon but because of the formulas issues so you just put the, uh, the dot on right hand side if you want to put a black cat you just put right okay and of course the bromine radical okay part three complete this uh, figure 4.2 uh, for the bromine atom, uh, electron uh, arrangement for bromine atom. Okay, so for this one, uh, you need to know the elect. Okay, uh, the electron configuration for bromine. So it's argon, argon three d ten four s two four p five. You must at least know this. Uh, you can check the the periodic tables given, right? So this one, three d ten. So means the three d is fully filled. So you just put uh, 10 electrons in there. Make sure each of the orbitals or the box here is has two electrons pointing to the different direction. Okay, so this one is 3D10. 4S2, so this one also another two electrons, different direction. Okay, uh, 4P, 4P is has five electrons, so must follow the uh, Han rules. So means we fill up singly first, one, two, three, four, five. So therefore, this is the correct uh, uh, diagram okay, for the 4P, five. Okay, part C, X is uh, an addition polymer. 
addition polymer, this polymer we can get is more normal. Uh, so you try to look at which one is the main uh, backbone. So here is the main backbone. Okay, if you identify this main back backbone, so then you just try to break this bond, break this bond at double bond, at uh, the pi bond here from double bond. Okay, then it will form these monomers, right? Okay, so if you want to convert this uh, this polymer uh, structure, okay, to this one also can this one. So it's actually look like this CH two. C H C H two C L. Okay, C H two, this part. C H C H two C L. Okay. After that, as I told you just now, okay, break this bond and add another bond in between the carbon. You get this monomer. Get the monomer. Okay, so draw the monomer of x so you, sh you should get this one easily or you can draw the skeleton okay like this same the other same so just one reason why disposal of item x made from x uh, is difficult uh, because inside there you can see there is a chlorine here when we burn this polymer it will mostly form uh, the the gas uh, we call HCl. So the HCl is actually not really good, right? Okay, that's why it's poisonous. Okay, it's released the harmful HCl when it's burned. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.